اعوذباللہمنشیطانرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو آئیڈیا فاؤنڈیشن فورم ٹوڈے آئی ایم پریزنٹنگ تھرٹی تھرڈ ایپیسوڈ آف دا سیریل پروگرام انڈر دی ٹائٹل اللہ قرآن اینڈ انسان انٹرسٹیڈ فرینڈس کین وزٹ آئیڈیا فاؤنڈیشن ڈاٹ کام ڈاٹ پی کے ویب سائٹ or its YouTube channel to watch previous videos or read their papers on the website. In the last session, we discussed part two of the research topic, man's place in the universe. Today, we will discuss some remaining vital aspects to conclude the subject. As discussed in the last session, We know the immensity of the observable heavenly universe. But besides the scientific excellence, we cannot even guess the contours of the unknown or unobservable heavenly universe, except believing it to be infinity in outward movement as it is ever growing in size as the quran says allah adds to its creation to its glory every day likewise the man's cell is divided into atoms in trillions which is further and further subdivided leading to infinity Science has discovered the divisibility of atom just recently, a fact that the Quran had told much earlier. Ayat 61 of Surah Yunus says, And not absent from your Lord is any part of an atom's weight within the earth or within the heaven. or anything smaller than that or greater but that it is in a clear register. Thus, the unknown domains of both the universes, heavenly universe and humanly universe lead to infinity. The heavenly universe is evolutionary are growing in physical terms as both the Quran and science endorse this fact. While the observable heavenly universe, observable which can be estimated, which can be seen, while the observable heavenly universe in fact is the extent of knowledge the man has about the universe at a given point of time. Thus, observable heavenly universe expands with the intellectual growth of the man, advancement in scientific knowledge, improvement of observatory technologies, and urge to control the cosmic resources, extra, extra, are the driving forces for this expansion. Today, the observable heavenly universe holds 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. There are two extremes of estimates. The least is 200 billion, the maximum is 2 trillion galaxies. So, observable heavenly universe holds 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies, each of which contains billions of stars. Over the last 13.8 billion years, the universe has been continually expanding. At that time, light of the galaxies located right on the edge of the observable universe took 14.3 billion years to reach to us, which must now take 46.5 billion light years now. 
सो एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द साइज ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेबल यूनिवर्स डिपेंडेड ऑन द इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल ऑफ द एज देर वॉज टाइम वेन पीपल बिलीव द ब्लू स्काई एज द सॉलिड रूफ ऑफ द यूनिवर्स then this size kept on increasing over the centuries with the increase of intellect and knowledge thus the vision of the universe in plato's time was much limited if it is compared with the vision of modern scientific age even if we compare the literature of the two modern luminaries newton and einstein we will find varying sizes of the observable universe here i may remind you the interesting story of nimrod of hazrat abraham's era who built the tower of babel babylon in about 3800 years bc with an observatory claiming that he had established and access to the heaven then to convince his people that he is the chief god he threw arrows to the sky claiming that he had killed abraham's god it was his sheer ignorance that he could see the limits of the universe just a few hundred feet above his tower therefore knowledge of the universe cannot be static it grows with the intellectual growth of man with his growing intellect the man has been intruding into the mysteries of the unknown universe and this process will continue in future as well but this humanly exploration will never reach to the infinity of the unknown universe as it has been growing with greater speed than the recorded speed of human intellect thus like the nimrod's claim it would be a grave fallacy on the part of present or future scholarship claiming the finality of such vision the man like the heavenly universe is a wonderful creation though the humanly universe is a subset of the heavenly universe yet it holds a commanding and numerical superiority over its whole a young man is made up of 40 trillion cells while the heavenly universe has 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies each galaxy has stars in billions while each human cell has about 100 trillion atoms a man contains 7 octillion atoms in his tiny body a number trillions time bigger than the stars in the heavenly universe for a long time an atom was considered to be an indivisible phenomenon now it is known that a tiny human atom is a huge habitat of protons neutrons and electrons this roaring pot of an atom also contains a nucleus which determines the existence of a cell dynamism of the human body replaces 98% of its atoms each year without corrupting without spoiling its nucleus or dna only a small human brain just less than a pound contains approximately 86 billion neurons just imagine as of the heavenly universe the man's stated knowledge of his material domain is not an instant outcome it was gradually built over the millenniums of human history 
with the growth of human intellect as a future task the growing intellect of the man urges him to explore further and further about the facts of human self beyond the observable substance of protons neutrons and electrons or neurons etc like the heavenly universe within the man's domain too every finding opens up the possibilities of new findings in the coming times as the man's intellect grows thus the finality of opinion will be absurd at any point of time in the human's case too the purpose of discussion of the humanly universe as an independent unit was to highlight the overwhelming unique status of the man in the universe otherwise surely the man is integral part of the heavenly universe the appraisal of the humanly universe contained in a tiny body of the man residing in a materially insignificant planet of the universe easy make it easy to believe that the immensity of the heavenly universe is truly beyond human comprehension ayat 57 of surah ghafir reveals this fact in the words the creation of the heavens and earth is greater than the creation of mankind but most of the people do not know the universe which surely includes the mankind is the wonderful manifestation of its creator regulated by the laws designed by him these are called the laws of nature the process of his creation is never ending as the quran says he adds to its creation every day but the laws of nature never change that is what we may call the fixed destiny the quran contains the knowledge of the universe and the laws of nature as well man's intellect and the knowledge of the universe mutually support to grow the higher echelons of knowledge of the universe and the intellect the man achieves the greater insight of the verses of the quran becomes possible yani this trio knowledge of the universe growth of intellect and the insight of the verses of quran go together when the knowledge of the universe human intellect and inside of the verses of the quran meet together the synergetic process leads to reach the substance of the laws of nature the truth that is the reason why allah has emphasized more than any good deed to explore the mysteries of the unknowns of the universe and the self by expanding the intellect since allah has assigned to the man the duty of managing the affairs of the universe intellectual pursuit becomes not only an essential need but also an obligation for the man now before we conclude a few quranic references on some aspects of the subject will make our discussion made so far more understandable firstly the immensity of the creation which includes the universe and the man as well is beyond human comprehension as revealed in ayat 109 of surah al-kahf allah says o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to them if the waters of the ocean were to become ink 
to write the words of my lord it would exhaust means the ink would exhaust but the words of my lord will not exhaust nay even if we brought as much as ink again it will not suffice for that likewise ayat 27 of surah luqman says and if whatever trees upon the earth were pens and the sea becomes ink replenished thereafter by seven more seas the words of allah would not be exhausted indeed allah is exalted in might and vice it is present day science estimation that the light of the galaxies located right on the edge of the observable universe take 46.5 billion light years to reach the earth while one light year is equivalent to about 9.46 trillion kilometer the estimation of the whole universe is grossly guessed just guessed as 250 times bigger than the observable universe therefore majority view regards the size of the universe as infinity especially because of its speedy expansion secondly the reason for blessing the man with extraordinary mental and physical configuration was to match his role of vice president and task of managing the affairs of the world in the most befitting manner let us study two quranic references to know the scope of the task that the man was accorded by allah ayat 65 of surah al-anam says it is he who hath made you his agents inheritors of the earth he hath raised you in ranks some above others that he may try you in the gifts he hath given you for thy lord is quick in punishment yet he is indeed often forgiving most merciful likewise ayat 20 of surah luqman reveals the powers and command accorded to the man over the universe and the abilities apparent and unapparent bestowed to him so that he could perform his role of vice president well the quran says do you not see that allah has made subject to you to man whatever is in the heavens heavens universe and whatever is in the earth and amply bestowed upon you amply adequately amply bestowed upon you his favors both apparent and unapparent but of the people is he who disputes about allah without knowledge or guidance are an enlightening book sent by allah so thirdly the knowledge of the universe human intellect and insight of the verses of the holy quran all together create the synergetic momentum to reach the substance of the laws of nature the truth that is the reason why allah has emphasized more than any good deed to explore the mysteries of unknowns of the universe and self by expanding the intellect for that allah has promised to help the man know the secrets of the nature and self with the advancement of his intellect as revealed in ayat 53 of surah fussilat listen 
سنورهم آیاتنا فی الافاق و فی انفسهم حتی یتبین لهم انہو الحق وی ویل شو دیم آور سائنس ان دا ہورائزنز یونیورس اینڈ ویدن دیم سیلز انٹل ایٹ بیکمز کلیر ٹو دیم دیٹ ایٹ ایز دی ٹروت فورتھلی The knowledge and higher intellect enable the man to reach the secrets of the universe and the laws of nature and treasures of knowledge capsuled in the verses of the Quran. This intellectual process prepares the man to perform extraordinary task of managing the affairs of the universe accorded to him as the vicegerent of Allah in the light of the laws of nature in the most befitting manner. Thus it determines his true place in the universe. To encourage the man towards intellectual pursuits, Allah has called wisdom or intellect a great blessing or reward in Surah Baqarah. Listen. Yuti al-hikmata man yashau wa man yuti al-hikmata faqad utiya khairan kaseera wa ma yazzakkaru illa ulu al-albab He gives wisdom to whom he wills and whoever has been given wisdom has certainly been given much good and none will remember except those of understanding. Dear friends, we end our discussion here. These programs are recorded both in Urdu and English. Their videos can be watched on ideafoundation.com.pk website or its YouTube channel and Facebook. Their written versions are also available on the Idea Foundation's website. Please note code number of this program, Idea 1A R4 Part 3. All friends are requested to subscribe the Foundation's YouTube web channel for the benefit of this noble cause. Thank you friends for participation. Allah Hafiz.